Our next guest is one of the top trial lawyers in the United States, Michael Kelly. Kelly is a senior partner in the law firm of Kirtland & Packard, LLP, whose main office is in Los Angeles. Kelly recently made headlines with a record-setting $64 million verdict in an age discrimination case. He's known for his aggressive litigation style and his ability to simplify complicated cases for a jury, and we have him here in our Sky Radio studios, and we're delighted to do so. Michael Kelly, welcome aboard. Thank you, Dennis. Business leaders and others, politicians, say that trial lawyers like yourself have driven verdicts out of control. They have hurt business and free enterprise. What's your opinion on that? That's just a sound bite. Like anything else in the world, if you're going to have an opinion about what happened at a jury trial, you've got to have all the facts. And probably the only people that have all the facts in a jury trial are the jurors. As for big verdicts, big verdicts usually mean there's been a big wrong. Jury trials are not the lottery. Plenty of plaintiffs go home empty-handed, and you don't hear any politicians or business leaders complaining about that. Now, let's follow along in this logic here. Uh, what about the point that trial lawyers such as yourself use the jury system's unpredictability to coerce big settlements out of those your clients might sue? Is the jury system biased against big business, I guess is what I'm asking? I don't think so. Unpredictability in the jury system works against individual plaintiffs or citizens just as much as it does against big corporations. I would never encourage a client to go to a jury trial if they could get a reasonable settlement short of that. What really burns me up, though, is that the same politicians that pander to the public with their television ads and their scare tactics, once they get elected, turn around in favor of big business, take the position that the average citizen isn't intelligent enough or smart enough to serve on a jury. It really makes me crazy. There is certainly a battle against the jury system in general. And there is also the recent criticism that trial lawyers continue to develop an increasingly sophisticated business model and take for themselves an increasingly large share of the national income. Your <laughs> viewpoint on that? I find that laughable. You know, the ordinary citizen faces such a huge uphill battle in bringing any lawsuit. First of all, they have to find a lawyer that believes in their case and a lawyer that's not only capable but willing to put tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars of their own money into the case and costs and preparation. You go to a jury trial, your plaintiff's more likely to lose than win, and if they win, they're facing two or three years of an appeal before they might ever see anything out of the system. Against those odds, the plaintiff's bar makes a little bit of progress in organizing, and there's supposed to be something wrong with that? I just don't think so. If a defendant hasn't done anything wrong, they have nothing to fear from a well-organized plaintiff's bar. Michael, we're so delighted you came in and gave us your viewpoint on this. Thank you. Michael Kelly is senior partner at Kirtland & Packard LLP with headquarters in Los Angeles. He joined us at our Sky Radio studios.